Well, the first batch of the Sputnik V vaccine against COVID-19 is in the public domain. The Russian health ministry says that the regional deliveries are planned in the near future. It has also said that the vaccine has passed all the necessary quality control tests. Now, Russia's Gamaleya National Research Center of Epidemiology and Microbiology has developed the vaccine. Russia has requested India for conducting phase three human trials and manufacturing of the vaccine. Indian authorities say that the country attaches great importance to Russia's offer. The trials are likely to begin once a company is finalized and regulatory clearances are in place. The Russian Health Ministry registered the first COVID-19 vaccine on the 11th of August. Researchers say that the vaccine triggered a strong immune response in phase one and two of the clinical trials conducted on 76 volunteers. Now this comes as health experts around the world continue to criticize Russia for releasing the vaccine in haste. Now the vaccine is the first in the world to be authorized for general use. Meanwhile, reports say Russia's Vector Virology Institute has completed early stage human trials of a second potential vaccine against COVID-19. The clinical human trial of the second potential vaccine began on the 27th of July. It reportedly involved a group of 100 volunteers. More than 27 million COVID-19 cases have been reported from all over the world. The race to develop a vaccine is on. Now, according to the World Health Organization, about 175 vaccine candidates are in preclinical or clinical trial stage. Here's a quick look at the status of the major vaccine candidates. Now, Chinese company Sinovac's potential COVID-19 vaccine, Coronavac, is in its third phase of trial. Preliminary results from an early to mid-stage trial found that the vaccine candidate is uh, safe for older people. However, immune response was slightly weaker than young adults. Coronavac did not cause severe side effects in phase one or phase two of the trials. The potential vaccine is being tested in Brazil and Indonesia and is in the final stage of human trials. Now, this stage aims to evaluate whether the potential vaccine is effective and safe enough to obtain approvals for mass use. Moderna's mRNA-1273 is also in phase three of trials. So far, the vaccine candidate has generated promising immune response in elderly patients. Data indicates that antibody level in older patients was uh, two to three times higher than the recovered patients. Now, phase three is being conducted on 13,000 volunteers along to different racial backgrounds. Moderna plans to price its vaccine at $50 to $60 per course. BNT 162B2 vaccine is undergoing phase three trial. The potential vaccine candidate is being developed by Pfizer in collaboration with BioNTech. Now reports say that Pfizer is planning to seek emergency use authorization from the US Food and Drug Administration. Now this will be done as early as October, but not before it is established that the vaccine is effective. Robust immune response in volunteers has been observed and the company has manufactured hundreds of thousands of doses of the potential vaccine. Covizin, India's first indigenous COVID-19 vaccine candidate, will begin phase two of human trials. The vaccine is being developed by Bharat Biotech. Phase two human trials will include 380 volunteers. In phase one, 375 volunteers from 12 cities were enrolled.